All right, so I must let it be known that I will be at Hard to Kill in January in Las Vegas at the Palms. The Palms is only about 15 minutes from my house, so um, very easy for me to get there. I drove past the Palms the other day for the first time. I was taking my daughter to an anime convention at the Sunset, no, Gold Coast Casino right across the street. I mean, it was right across the street, so really, really nice hotel. I don't think it's the best area of the Strip, but uh, it's a better location than Samstown. I didn't think Samstown was a bad. I drove past there last month. I didn't think that location was bad. It wasn't on the Strip, but it wasn't in the middle of nowhere. Like It was very populated, very uh, probably a lot easier to drive in that area, easier to park. But um, I will be there at Hard to Kill. I was intent on sitting in the front row and uh, I was purchasing the ticket while I was buying groceries and PayPal was messing with me and just giving me errors. And I'm and I hate PayPal. I hate PayPal with everything, every fiber of my being. I hate PayPal, but it was giving me errors. Uh, so I had to back out of the transaction and I said, let me finish my shopping. And then I'll, when I get in the car, I'll buy the tickets. By the time I was able to log back in, only the third row was available. So I was pretty disappointed in that, but um, but it's all good because I'm not one of those like fans that like to stand in the front row and cheer, do the fake cheering for the camera, you know, like I'll get up and clap. <laughs> but that's just not not my personality. So um third row it is, all good. I'm bringing my two older kids with me. My two younger ones have no interest, but I'm uh bringing them with me. Should be a good show. I also purchased a ticket to Snake Eyes, um, but I paid the $35. I'm not I'm not going to sit up close to the ring because I'm not even sure. I'm going to stay for the whole thing. I may show up late, and I swear on my life, if they play Wheel in the Night, I'm leaving. I promise that I would never go to an Impact taping until that song was gone. Uh, because of us, as I've said many times, if you're there for a taping, they just play the whole the song Every single time there's dead space, they just just wheel in the night and I will lose my shit. I really will. So got myself, I guess it's a general admission seat. Uh, But if I miss it, no big deal. You know, hard to kill is is really what I want to be there for. And very much looking forward to it. Got my dogs fighting in the background. Silence. You silence. See how that works now. Respect. Peace. Anyway. Um, so hard to kill. I know I haven't been doing a lot of content here on the channel. It's been a little dry. Usually when impact checks out, I tend to check out as well. You know, like if they don't care, I don't know why I should, but, um, I think there's so much they could be doing right now with the transition to TNA, um, on social media. I think they should have had a whole plan in place to have people engaged for the next couple months because, the iron was really hot there for a second. People were excited. People people are still excited. People are still talking. Don't get me wrong. But you have to create content that that allows people to continue to talk and have talking points. And they've they've had a couple gut check signings. Um, you know, wrestlers we're not necessarily familiar with. They look talented though. And uh, you know, excuse me if I don't get excited over gut check signings. Um, you know, I tweeted. They say, oh, these people won gut check. I just tweeted out, see you never. You know, like, I'm sorry if I don't get excited over those, but um, the two fellows and the, the female they signed, they look, they look really good. So hopefully we're really going into, into a new era, and it's not just changing the ring aprons and the turnbuckles and the name. The, the show for so long has been so – it's a good show. It's a good show. The wrestling is great, but there's so many aspects of it that, that is, have been so bland and – uh, the same sounds and the music and they just haven't changed anything in like three or four years. And every show just feels exactly the fucking same. The wrestling is great. Like I said, the right, the wrestling is probably the best. I think the wrestling's ever been for the company. I do. They're, they're at the pinnacle. They're at the peak of their wrestling. All of the other areas are actually the worst in the history of TNA impact, not all of them, but most of them I've already ran down through that list. I'm not going to do it again. I'm sure I'll run it, run it down um, later. 
But I think that there's so much right now. And I may do that as one of my my uploads here soon, just talking about my ideas of how they could keep the fans engaged. Because, you know, I go on the social media and they're playing up the tits and ass thing. And it's like, don't we want to get away from that? And no one's called tits and ass TNA since like 2008. You know, it's a dead acronym. It's a dead term. So I'm not really that concerned about, you know, correlating TNA wrestling with tits and ass. But you go on the social media and it's just like, they're just playing into it. I I, I don't understand. I really don't. Um, We'll see, though. Hard to Kill is coming. I really hope it's a new era. I hope it's a new feel. I hope it's a new look. Uh, Because if they don't do it now, they never will. And I'll be really, really disappointed if we get this first episode and they're showing the fucking entrance ramp and there's a screensaver behind it and um, the lighting is bad. Like, I w- I'll be really, really disappointed. I don't think it's that's going to happen. I think they are going to go f- for a brand new feel. I, w- I would just be shocked if they if they didn't. But I- I'd be very disappointed if-, if it's a lot of the same editing and the same ways, the video game whoosh between segments and all that. Or if they just keep we on the night and change the video, I will be very disappointed. So we'll see. But there is so much that they could be doing right now. They should have just had this content calendar in place. They they should have already had this months ago. Like, okay, this is we're gonna make this announcement and this is how we're gonna keep them engaged and excited. And people are still talking. There you get on Twitter, whatever, people are still talking about. TNA, but I'm seeing the, oh, let's bring back Mike Tene post. Like this guy is not coming back. I, I don't know why we can't let this go, but um, people are definitely still talking, but there's so much more impact could be doing to get people excited and ready and build them up. And just then the, the, the money shot, the climax uh, come hard to kill. So We'll see, um, but I will be uh, doing some content here soon. I, I'm hoping to try to get together with a couple other podcasters and just do some TNA talk, you know, get get some thoughts because there were a lot of reactions when this happened that were in the podcasting world that were a little on the negative side. Uh, and I'm someone, I'm all for it. I'm all for the name change and, and tearing down what is currently impact to to bare bones and then building back up with TNA. That's, that's what I want to see. That's, it's not um, nostalgia for me. I just want to see them with a new vision with a vision, you know, cause the vision I think previously wasn't working, but I, I want to try to get together with a couple other podcasts who have podcasters who've had some time to sit and think and okay. Um, I think I do like where they're going with this. I think I do like the name change. Um, you know, and maybe they have some, some points that I haven't even thought of. So we're going to try to do that here on the channel. If I have the time, I may try to get a couple of interviews, uh, former talents. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not making any promises of anything, but uh, I will have some content coming here soon. I know they're doing the IPWF show for Thanksgiving. You know, I hate those with absolute passion, but this may be the year I watch and review it. I don't know If, if people want that. Maybe I will. I don't think the shows are funny. I don't think they're fun. I think the wrestlers have more fun doing it than the viewers have watching it. That is what I've always said about it. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, I haven't been watching the episodes and Turning Point. I just don't have interest in just matches. You know? So, But I'm, I'm going to come up with some ideas, folks. We're not going to have a dead channel for the rest of the year. I'm just not going to be reviewing whatever they're doing as a, as a television show, unless they have an actual full on show, which I don't know that they have scheduled. I haven't quite been paying attention. Uh, then I'll review it, but I'm your boy BQ. I am rambling. So I'm going to put an end to this. I'm out. Peace.